is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Heather googled my baby week 12 old fourth. By 12 weeks, your little one can likely hold his head up to some degree and is becoming more interested in and aware of the world around him. The fourth trimester is a period of significant physical, mental, and emotional development for your baby, but it's a time of change for new moms, too. You ain't a new mom. Okay. <laughs> This is what I'm doing to keep my mind and body healthy. As a mother, being apart from my children for any amount of time is very painful. Dang, she got a new pair of shoes. I know y'all peep them, them little heels right there on the right side of that nightstand. Hmm. So my two biggest calorie burners right now, let's say hi to my babies. Hi, babies. Weston is the babyest, Alexis is 10, Vivi is 17, Lewis is 16, that's Weston again, look at them, 20, that was in 2020, Vivi was 13, or 2019, Vivi was 13, Alexis was 10, and Lewis was 12, look at how I was when I was pregnant with Alexis, that's Weston. Weston is three months old now. But my, but my two biggest calorie burners are pumping and breastfeeding, which I breastfeed Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and pumping um, keeps my milk supply in, in in the days that I don't have access to breastfeed. And then I'm doing modified lady push-ups and sit-ups and walking three to five miles a week. You guys, Wesson turns 12 weeks old on Monday, and I am, <laughs> I am so weak. You guys know that I used to be, or love weightlifting. Oh my and gosh. Well, how are we going to turn in about you, Heather? I cannot believe how big he is getting already. Like, time goes by so quickly. <laughs> physical fitness i haven't gone back to weightlifting because i am pumping and breastfeeding and i don't want to increase my Nobody testosterone cares. and therefore decrease my milk supply so i'm just doing body weight exercise and i, I am so weak i am struggling to get through a girl push-up right now so that's the update um but i am taking prenatal vitamins for the quality of my milk and getting in at least three to five miles of cardio a week since he was born so <laughs> i think i'll get stronger if i just keep at it but oh my goodness my my arms especially my upper body just so weak this goes along with my campaign from 2021 Tech for All and another reason I believe iPhones and phone services should be available to all, 10.40 a.m. Happy Mother's Day to everyone who is a subscriber of GoPro Solo. These are my babies. We have Weston here, Alexis, Vivi, Lewis, and Weston again. Happy Mother's Day uh, to all the moms. Also, if you are an iPhone user, I want to share with you this little thing that I just learned because it put the biggest smile on my face um, when I could not receive physical flowers today. This is just as good almost, or maybe even better. All right, so telling her kids she loves them, a couple people, family members, happy Mother's Day. Um, mom or mother, it says Anne Rock, they don't go anymore. <laughs> okay, this is Heather and her oldest. Her oldest said, I'm working. Heather says, okay, love, you have a good day. Please call me when you get out. And then the next morning, she said, good morning. I love you. Please call me after church. And... It was very sweet. Her oldest said, Happy Mother's Day, Mother. Oh, she said, Thanks, babe. How did you do that? Send one to Mimi, please. Type your message and hold down the send button for different effects. Swipe right for different screen effects. Mother said, Moving churches or from Elmhurst.
Please remember to call, text, or celebrate your mothers and other mothers today and always. Happy Mother's Day. Xavier and I just finished church and we are going back to have some breakfast. Happy Mother's Day, guys. Six thirty-eight a.m. I can't tell if these are tennis shoes or her boots. Ten fifty-nine a.m. Please help sponsors. It's starting again. Oh Lord. Oh my gosh, we're talking about the Airbnbs again. Wait, what? Oh, I just saw Ed. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> ever home because she was very quiet and self-sufficient she took great care of my place and treated like her own we wish her the best on her journey great guest that i would welcome back ed's friend heather stayed he was a great guest very clean and tidy friendly appropriate at all times would welcome her back anytime i was always like suspicious about these comments left like these reviews but now i'm like even more like Wondering why people are mentioning Ed by name so much. They were great guests and I recommend her. Recommended. <laughs> it looks like it says recommended her. Great guests. They stayed for 30 days and we don't have any complaints. And why do no one, no one knows how to spell in these comments or reviews. Are these all fake Great guests. They stayed for 30 days and we don't have any complaints. And we will hiss them again. Very nice and left the place super clean. Heather and her group left the room clean and neat. They were very friendly and followed all rules, no issues. That was the one where Heather was like, Hello, Lynn. Thank you so much for your review. I was just a little confused because I was traveling alone. There was no one else with me. Like, okay. They were a great guest. We are so happy they stayed with us and hope they stay again. Very nice person. She was friendly with my dog, Ziggy, too. She stayed here in Chicago for five days. I'd be happy to host her again. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate your hospitality. Heather was an awesome guest. I enjoy hosting such a clean, kind, and quiet, just all around amazing I highly recommend her to other hosts in the future. These people can't talk. Can you pay for reviews? <laughs> they were a great guest. Like, that's, they were a great guest. We're so happy they stay with us. I hope they stay again. Like, why are these people doing it twice? Some just don't add up. It's a little fishy the more you post clean and respectful welcome anytime nice girl at first thought it might be a bad situation because she got lost in another part of town i got upset on the phone with me but after she stayed here i no longer have any concerns sorry for the confusion eric and thank you so much for your patience i enjoyed my stay your place is absolutely beautiful and was the perfect place for a relaxing few days thank you so much all phenomenal reviews Send it to Nick. Okay, Heather posted. No cheating. The flower you pick will reveal your truest trait. Heather chose the rose. Stubborn survivor. Heather is a rare woman. Once you won't forget easily. With an angelic heart, she is strong, dedicated, and never fake. Yeah, these are always wrong. Worrying too much is one of her biggest weaknesses because deep down she has a gentle soul that cares about everyone. Though she sometimes speaks her full truth, she'd rather be completely honest than fake and nice. The pain of Heather's past made her more cautious but also stronger. Toxic people and fake friends have no place in her life anymore. Her trust is a precious gift that should not be abused. Happy Mother's Day to me and also to every mother out there. Who, who says Happy Mother's Day to me? <laughs> Sorry. 
Happy Mother's Day to me and also to every mother out there, but especially my mom, my forever mother-in-laws, and the women being there for my babies anytime they needed to. Oh, wow. Even to Xavier's mom. Okay. Aunts and everybody. I love you all so much and wish everyone a very happy Mother's Day. That's crazy. I wonder, like, does Heather, was Heather there that Christmas? Why wasn't she in the picture? My first Mother's Day as a mother of four, she really needs to use periods. My first Mother's Day as a mother of four, two boys and two girls.